Dean, victory here at York Road. You look happy. <laughs> yeah, always happy after a victory. Um, I felt we fully deserved it, to be fair. Quite a big moment in the first half when Jay Gastu made a fantastic save onto the crossbar. Um, you know, it was about 10 minutes before half time. But all in all, I'm delighted with the victory. Uh, tiny bit sour with them scoring late on the way they did, and then they had an unbelievable chance in injury time. So just that game management needs to be better. Talking about Jake Askew, he had an absolutely phenomenal day today. What's your make on him? Yeah, Jake is, Jake's technically the best goalie we have, to be totally honest with you, at the club. Um, size has probably gone against him a little bit, but I thought he managed the game really well. He made two or three really important saves when he had it. That's the goalie's job. Um, his kicking was good, his communication was good. He's got a great football brain, Jake. He's, been, uh, he's come through at Chelsea. Um, but I'm delighted for him today because it's been tough from last week. I decided to go with Eamon and this week I decided uh, to, to go with Jake and I think it was uh, proved the right decision. It felt like one of those games where every player played their own little part in it. I couldn't quite call one individual out there, but what's your take on that? Yeah, I thought, look, we sort of said when you come here, there's a game of two halves here a lot because there's a big hill on the pitch. You've got to manage the pitch and what we did do is we started the second half excellent. We got in a half time with a, with a clean sheet and then we started the second half so well and we just played on the front foot from there really. Sort of from the 60th minute through to the 75th minute, I thought we were outstanding. And we scored within that period. Efron had a big effect on the game, setting up both goals. Um, Maz obviously got, got the force, Cox he was trying to claim it, but Maz got the force. And then uh, obviously the second goal is great play again for F. If I'm being honest, in the F run we have a superstar player. Um, he's a top player, top kid, great attitude walking on his game. I thought he was outstanding again today for us. It seemed that we didn't give up. We worked really, really hard and that happened all the way through to the end. And they had their chance, but we just managed to get away with it. But it was down to hard work in my opinion. Yeah, look, we take players like Harley off, experienced players, which which because he was booked, I sort of didn't want him getting booked again. Um, Coxie still has, sort of has that knee niggle, so he just... The big players for us Wes had to come off a cramp ideally we don't want to make any subs um, and I just think we missed them in the last sort of five six minutes of the game because um, they managed the game well especially Harley's composure he's good on the ball and Coxie honestly he, he worked so hard and he deserved his goal today so just a tiny bit disappointed by that I don't want to be too critical because we managed to win on the road it's a tough thing to do in this division um, but it's a tiny bit critical of how we gave up the opportunities late and I think the young lads that come on Sam Gramble and that have to learn from them kind of situations they've got to learn fast this division's rootless and it's very hard to win games in it so it's a good learning for everybody today So we've got a week now until uh, Yeovil come to the Hive a bit of preparation for that one needed I think Yeah so Yeovil won today it's me they've won again today they've won a few games of late so they're in good form um, be a good game they've got a lot of pace in their team um, and we're looking forward to it well, I think the main thing is we enjoy uh, we enjoy this evening um, it's, like I say it's very hard to get victories in this division um, no matter who you play I think everyone's probably seen the results with Wrexham and Dover people have been thinking to walk in the park playing Dover but it's not and you've got a manager like Andy Hessenthal who's a top manager knows this division inside out shows you how difficult it is to win games um, full credit to them going there and giving their best in that game but we gave our all today. The one thing we gave today, which you know we spoke about last week, is and we never gave up. And uh, we gave our all. And that's all you can ask of any man. And I'm, I'm proud of that. So we'll celebrate tonight with a nice glass of apple juice or something, maybe a little bit stronger. But have you got a message for the uh, travelling B Army today? I was delighted for them. You know, especially after how we how we performed last week. I was delighted. We gave them something to sing about, which we spoke about yesterday. And uh, they drove us forward in the end. So I'm proud of their uh, contribution towards our victory today. And hopefully they can enjoy a glass or a beer or two tonight. Congratulations, Dean. Thanks. Thanks. Sorry. Thanks.